So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Canon 5D original, otherwise known as the Canon 5D classic. Originally launched in 2005, this camera is almost 20 years old and I picked up mine for only £150 from a company called MPB.com here in the UK. They deal specifically with buying and reselling used camera gear. I grabbed mine after reading an article and watching a few YouTube videos about the sensor of this camera and how it has amazing colour rendition and almost like an analogue sort of filmy look to the images. And being an avid film shooter myself, I had to investigate and see if there was any gump to this claim. After about a month's usage, uh, I can definitely say that there is something to this camera. You know, I've tested it out on pictures of my family, taken it out on a few photo walks, and even brought it along to a couple of weddings where I've tested shooting some portraits of my wedding clients. And I've got to say, this camera definitely still holds its own for a camera that's almost 20 years old. From my findings, basically the sensor obviously being only a 12 megapixel sensor and having not very great dynamic range causes this sort of filmic look to the images. Basically, being the same as film, it doesn't leave you a lot of latitude for overexposure and underexposure. And if you do underexpose the images, you have that sort of muddiness to the shadows that you get with film. And if you do overexpose it, you obviously blow out your highlights like you do with film. But when you get the settings right, when you get it perfect and you really nail what that image should look like in terms of the exposure settings and you know getting it sharp and stuff like that, boy howdy does it really pop and there is something to it you know to my eyes at least i see this sort of filmic look to the images that you just can't recreate with modern cameras so from the short time that i've been using this camera i can definitely say there is something to it and something to the certain look of the images that it produces not only that being a camera from 2005 it is quite limited in the fact that there's no auto iso settings you have to do things a lot more manually and you really do have to now focus on top of that the screen on the back is absolute dog shite it doesn't work at all if you're in daylight don't even try looking at it because you're not going to see anything so that also gives it a bit of a filmic feel in that i'm not really chimping or looking at the back of the screen I'm just taking pictures and just moving on with my life like I would for film and waiting until I get home and uploading the pictures to then see the results and I think that just that's one of the reasons why I enjoy shooting film is it provides a much more organic experience in that you're not constantly looking and then recomposing you're just taking the picture moving on and waiting until later to see how it turned out um, and that's something yeah I really enjoy I've definitely been surprised at the quality of the images that come out of it, considering they're only 12 megapixel. And I've definitely been surprised with how often I find myself reaching for this camera when I'm going out with the family, rather than any of the other multiple cameras that I have. So for that reason, I would recommend it to professionals and newcomers alike, especially if you're someone looking at getting into photography and you want a full frame camera, being able to pick up a camera like this that's full frame for less than 200 pounds with a lens for another 100 pounds is just, it's amazing in, in today's day and age, it really is. And obviously I think learning on a camera like this where you have to get it right, where you have to set your own eyes. So it's much better to learn that way before going onto a camera that does everything for you, that tracks people's faces and focuses for you, that gets the right settings for you, you know? I think learning this way is much more organic and you're going to get much more out of it in the long run. But yeah, just a quick one from me just to say the Canon 5D Classic, a camera that is very nearly 20 years old, but still very much produces amazing images and is a joy to use. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Oh, my hand's covering it. <laughs> Wait. Nom, nom, nom. nom.